Do dogs think humans are just big dogs? The answer is not as easy as a simple yes or no. For thousands of years, dogs have coexisted with humans, and the unique bond between the two has piqued the interest of dog lovers and researchers alike. So what do dogs really think of us? Today, we're going to talk about how dogs perceive their relationship with you. Do they see you as their parents, a bigger version of themselves or something different altogether? By the end of this video, you will have a greater understanding of how your dog views you and why your dog behaves the way they do. Dogs possess the incredible ability to love and to be devoted. In so many ways, for many dog owners, it seems that their dogs view them as parents and in so many ways they do. Dogs identify with us as our family and build relationships far above the line of being just pets. What we have with our dogs is based on trust, love, care given instead of depending on our size or the species in which we are born. They may not call us mom or dad, but their actions do. When a dog wags his tail in excitement, follows one around the house, or gazes at one with those soulful eyes, he is showing affection. Their way of seeing one is tied to how one makes them feel safe, loved and protected. This connection can be noted through how they look to us for direction. A child typically looks up to a parent when unsure, just as dogs do with their owners if times are uncertain. Whether it is looking up at you when puzzled or following you through the neighborhood on a walk, these actions show that they feel safe around us their pack leaders and providers. Thus a connection much deeper than simply seeing us as another dog in their lives. Dogs listen to us not just for reward, but also from respect and love. Every time they heed command, this almost always points to deep attachment dreading upon trust and mutual understanding. This is also the same reason why dogs watch our activities whether they are peering into the room we are in or view us all over the house. These are all signs of attachment rather than mere curiosity. Another incredible aspect of a dog's recognition is their sense of smell. Dogs have powerful olfactory senses that allow them to recognize us by our unique scent. This scent memory is so strong that dogs can react joyfully even before they see us, just by smelling our presence. This isn't merely a cute quirk. It's a deeply rooted evolutionary trait that has helped dogs bond with humans for thousands of years. This romantic relation between humans and dogs dates back to thousands of years ago when humans domesticated them from wolves. This process of evolution began 15,000 years back when early humans discovered that wolves could be useful for hunting as well as protection. With time, some of the wolves looked more socialized and less aggressive and were allowed to hang around the human villages. These wolves evolved into what we call dogs of today. As the generations progress along with selection, the bond further intensifies. And as a result, dogs are able to interpret human feelings, recognize our sign language, and join the human family. Domestication has played an important role in their lives, and thus the dogs are sensitively attentive to human behavior. This is why modern dogs have an uncanny ability to understand our sentiments and gestures. They can even catch us sobbing and all too often try to console us by coming close to us or sitting next to us. This remarkable ability to understand our states of emotions is one that has taken millions of years of companionship with humans to hone. Apart from the ability to smell, dogs also have the ability to identify human voices. Actually, studies have shown that dogs are capable of distinguishing their owners' voices with great accuracy. Even if the dog is away for days or even months, they can differentiate between the owner's voice and other voices, providing them with some sense of comfort and familiarity. In one striking experiment, it was demonstrated that a dog can distinguish the owner's voice 82% of the time, even when strangers' voices are mixed in with it. This clearly indicates that the human-canine relationship is not solely a matter of smell or seeing, but also hearing as dogs are capable of listening for a sweet voice of their beloved human in the middle of chaos. But even more interesting than that is how dogs even process human speech. Scientists have proved that dogs don't only hear what one has to say, but also the way it is said. For instance, they can differentiate between the tone of the words that are being uttered. When you're talking to your dog with a high-spirited voice, they respond to that and become excited too. In case you sound stern, they will become more submissive or cautious. The ability to determine our tone of voice is yet another way in which dogs prove how profoundly connected with us they are. So whether they view us as big, freaky dogs or anything else is irrelevant. What matters is the bond that we have with them. To our dogs, we are a member of the family play watchdogs, friends, and special people. The bond between them, given trust, love, and loyalty is a much more complex definition than any simple description of the connection we share. 
dogs have a very good sense of body language. Even the minutest movements, for instance, a glance or a shift in posture can say a lot to our dogs. They look at each of our gestures, expressions on our faces, and even at our breathing patterns with caution. For this reason, it is highly understandable why dogs turn so sensitive to our moods and intentions. If your dog already responds before you say a word, then that indicates he has picked up one or more of your nonverbal cues. Dogs are very responsive to the cues that define their relationship within the family and to positive responses to clear boundaries and affection. This is why training works so well dogs have a natural urge to understand where they fit in the family unit and look to us to instruct them regarding good behavior. In addition, the connection between dogs and humans goes beyond just animal instincts. Studies have shown that dogs' heads produce oxytocin, called the love hormone when interacting with favorite human attachment figures. It is the same hormone that has been known to connect human mothers to their offspring, hence relating dogs and their human partners to an emotional equivalent of the relationship that a parent holds for a child. This hormonal response accounts for the sort of dogmatic devotion by dogs to mankind and gives an account to the behaviors, which seem like that of an infant seeking comfort and security from a parent. The owners give stability and security to the dog. That is the reason why so many dogs suffer from separation anxiety. They don't just miss our company, they really feel loss and insecurity in our absence. The attachment of dogs with their owners is deep, and that is exactly why they make much ado over our return home. Their excited welcomes wagging tails, barks, and in some cases even jumping up are all manifestations of relief and happiness upon seeing their most important family member return. Another very compelling feature of the human-canine relationship is the secure base effect the term was first applied in scientific research on human babies it describes the way in which the child uses his caregiver as a safe haven to be able to go out and explore his environment. Other more recent studies have also shown that dogs work in this way. Thirdly, with a known person present, especially the owner, dogs become more inquisitive about their surroundings to be reassured and feel good about the unfamiliar. This is why dogs see us as more than just another living thing they see us as their caretaker and mentor. Dogs not only could develop attachment to their owners but also fast to other animals or even humans outside of the direct family. However, the attachment that dogs have towards their primary caregiver is one of a kind. It comes from mundane tasks like feeding, walking, playing with them, and just hanging out together. All these strengthen the bond between the species so that the human-dog relationship is among the most potent interspecies attachments in the animal kingdom. So, the next time you come through that door, with that enthusiastic wag of the tail and that happy bark, just remember they don't see you as a fellow dog, but they do see something very important in your life. You are family, comfort, and joy to them. And that's the thing that makes it all worthwhile. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more of these types of videos. Thanks for watching.